Alright YouTube, first off I'd like to apologize, this phone's kind of crappy because this is the phone I actually normally use, but I actually wanted to talk about this today. So last year in March, they came out with the, the Galaxy S7, this is the Edge, I got a case on it, but you can see that the screen... wraps around I wanted to talk I know that the uh, the S8 actually comes out next month and I've always been a real big fan of Samsung so I just wanted to talk about this and actually maybe entice a few people out there to actually get one of these because I really like these phones it has a 5.1 inch 1440 by 2560 super ammo led screen has a octo core, eight course Snapdragon 820. It's got the Exynos 8890, 64 bit operating. It's only about 152 grams. It's got the the Corning Gorilla Glass on it. It's, I've dropped this thing multiple times, dropped things on the screen multiple times, and it doesn't even have a scratch. These things are very durable and actually really nice. It is actually water and dust resistant. You can actually put it in water and it'll still, the speakers and everything will still work. Of course, to a certain extent, you can't obviously put it under too much pressure and or leave it under too long. It will eventually seep into the speakers and stuff. It has a marshmallow operating system. I never understood why they named those weirds names for the operating systems but that's what it has has 4 gigabytes of RAM 32 to 64 gigabytes of internal memory it's got a 12 megabyte back camera and a 5 megabyte front camera ultra ultra HD video recording has a light it has two three four G and LTE speeds HSPA and GSM compatible version 4.2 Bluetooth and an NFC reader with certain apps this right here is the fast charger this is what I bought with it is the wireless fast charger all you do is just set it down on top of that and then when it's plugged into this cord that's all you gotta do has a 3000 milliamp hour non removable battery that lasts probably about. I'm not actually sure how long the battery lasts, but I know with this, this can charge it from 0 to 100% in up to 50 minutes. So that's actually really good. Charges very fast. It's got a lot of sensors. It's got a fingerprint sensor. It's got a retina uh, sensor. It has auto HDR, a gyro, a gyrometer. It's got an accelerometer, a barometer. It's got proximity alert on it. It's got a heart rate monitor. There's all kinds of stuff. It comes in black, silver, gold, white. I find this a very, very nice phone. And honestly, I don't know what they could possibly add new to the S8, but I'm sure they're going to have plenty. This right here, it is probably not on. It's, it's actually sitting in this little magnetic base. If you can see that at all. It's actually a magnet. It sticks, sticks to it. It actually charges it magnetically. Let's see if I can turn this on. This is the Samsung Gear 2, the S2. It's a watch that I bought with it. I could have actually gotten the, the virtual reality headset with it, but the AT&T store, with this, this is all from AT&T by the way, you can get it for Sprint and others as well. The AT&T store did not have the virtual reality headset so I got this with it. It was only about a dollar with the contract so it's all touch screen it's not too bad it is also upside down it 
has the phone settings, has apps, regular settings, voice, you can say hi gear, and it'll ask you if you want to text anybody. Middle East, right there. Call Jared. <laughs> yeah, well, it takes a bit of getting used to. Yes, I would like to send a message, but not right now. I was trying to make a point, and you ruined it. But anyway, it's not not too bad. It gives you notifications when it is actually Bluetooth to your phone. It will let you know your notifications. It'll you can actually phone uh, answer your phone calls through this, <clears throat> make calls, send texts, everything through that. This actually has a and it's in itself has a four gigabyte storage it's got a 250 milliamp hour uh, lithium ion battery 802.11 Wi-Fi it's Bluetooth version uh, 4.1 it also has a NFC reader in it it's got the Tizen based operating system it's the wearable platform 1.2 inch AMOLED display 360 by 360 Let's see. It's got a dual core, one gigahertz pegawatt processor. It's got an accelerometer, gyrometer, heart rate, heart rate monitor, ambient light, and a barometer. It's about forty-seven grams. Not really, not too bad. It's dust and water resistant, also like you'd expect most watches. But since this is obviously electronic, it's really nice to be water. Resistant, just like the phone. Put that back in its little magnet base. And this also allows for wireless charging. It actually connects magnetically to this and then has the charging faster uh, USB Type C port in the back of that. And it came, besides, besides this, it, this came with its own USB Type-C cord. This came with a USB Type-C, the phone. And anything else? These actually have 512 megabytes of memory. In contrast to this, 4 gigabytes. I'm just real pumped about this. Um, I actually recommend this to anybody wanting to buy a newer phone, especially with the S8 coming out next month. It'll probably get a lot cheaper. It's already pretty cheap with a contract. This was a dollar with a contract. So, that is my little review of this very awesome piece of technology that I love and still love and will forever love. I'll have the links down in the description below if you want to actually check these items out and possibly buy them. I do recommend them to the fullest. I appreciate you watching. Like and share if you want. I appreciate it, and you all have a nice day.